My mother lived independently until November of 2018. On March 12, um, we got the call that uh, nursing homes were being shut down and, and people couldn't come in. Uh, one of the patients um, tested positive. They tested all the, all the other patients and she was negative, fortunately. However, around May 6th, uh, unfortunately, uh, she contracted COVID as well. And on the 17th of May, uh, she succumbed. When you go into the website for the New York State Department of Health, it still shows only two deaths in that nursing home out of 66 patients who tested positive and 39 who passed away. We have to get to the bottom of this. We have to find out the truth. Senator Tedisco has been out front on this issue, asking for an investigation and asking for subpoena power to get the information as to what happened. I think we're very fortunate to have someone like Senator Tedisco who has the passion and commitment to push not only on this issue, but all the other issues over the years that he's pushed on. I thank him for taking the lead on this, and I hope that he's successful for the good of the people of the state of New York.